Hey, hey familia, Miranda here. Yes, I am back, at least for this video anyways. Uh, so today we're talking 90s. Uh, I could not pass up on this challenge that Tim Talk Talkies put out there for the movie community to come up with a top 25 films list um, from the 90s. Now, I grew up in the 90s, you guys. The 90s in general was just an awesome, awesome decade. But even when it comes to films, there was just so many amazing films that came out in the 90s, you guys. Uh, lots of great comedies and, you know, action-packed stuff. Lots of family-friendly films and whatnot. So uh, let me tell you, though, this challenge was super difficult. Uh, by the time I was done like creating my list, I was like totally like just brain dead, you guys. Like I, it was so, so hard to narrow it down to just 25 because there are so many just fantastic films that came out in the 90s and just so many that I love and adore and just hold like ties to just lots of nostalgia. Um, so yeah, you guys, uh, but I did it, you guys. I didn't think I was going to be able to. I thought it was just gonna be an impossible task for me. Um, honestly, the hardest thing I have ever had to do in my life. Not kidding. Uh, but anywho, yeah, you guys, so I, I'm feeling pretty good about this list. I say at least my top five are solid. Uh, the other films, you know, who knows? They could change tomorrow, the day after. Um, but right now, in this moment, these are the order of the films that, uh, you know, I chose. So let's go on ahead and get right into it. So coming in at number 25 is a film that actually I feel is kind of long forgotten. You never hear anybody talk about this film and that is Ricochet. So I remember watching this film like all the time with my dad. This was just one of our favorites. And so yeah, I just, I don't know what it is about this film, but I love it, you guys. Denzel and then John Lithgow as the bad guy. I mean, it it works, you guys. They were both fantastic in this film. And the whole time that I've been doing like movie stuff here on YouTube, honestly, I think I've only heard one other person mention it. Um, so yeah, this is honestly underrated in my opinion, but Ricochet needs more love, but I do. I absolutely love this film. So coming in at number 24, we have Space Jam, classic. I mean, definitely has a nostalgic tie to it for me. Um, I mean, what's not to love? Michael Jordan, Looney Tunes, and then the whole mixing live action with cartoons. I mean, it works, you guys. Space Jam, love it. Number 23 is Richie Rich. I love this one, you guys. So, so much fun. This one, I was kind of debating between picking Richie Rich or The Page Master, but then I kind of remembered The Page Master. As much as I did love that film, it honestly kind of creeped me out. They did a really good job at like creating a creepy atmosphere in that film. And then I don't know, I guess when it came to like the horror part of it and the whole like melting ceiling, I don't know what it was, kind of scarred me. Um, so I decided to go Richie Rich. Um, but yeah, it's just a fun, fun film from Macaulay Culkin. Um, another one of my favorite uh, performances of his. And it is, it's just a blast, you guys. So Richie Rich. All right, so number 22 is Big Daddy. Uh, this one too, I kind of had a little debate going on um, because I was trying to think, okay, what films of like Adam Sandler's was I watching a lot? And the top three were definitely Big Daddy, The Wedding Singer, and uh, Happy Gilmore. Those are the ones that I truly remember watching like all the damn time as a kid. Uh, but then I was like, okay, which one was I really, truly, truly like had on all the time? And for sure, Big Daddy, you guys, it's just a fun film, it's funny, Great performance from Adam Sandler. It's just a little heartfelt film. So yeah, I had to go Big Daddy on this one. So coming in at number 21 is Small Soldiers. I absolutely love this film, you guys. I always have. It's one that I watch like all the time with my siblings. And I mean, what's not to love about this film? I just absolutely love the concept of it. It's just a fun little film. So yeah, we got Small Soldiers. Okay, so number 20, I chose Soul Food. Uh, this is a film that, I don't know, I've just always been a huge fan of this film. I mean, the stacked cast, they all did great in here. I thought everyone gave just great performances. But there's just something about this film that, I don't know, I'm just really drawn to. I don't know if it has to do with like the family ties, the tradition of Sunday dinner, uh, you know, like the one like main person the family kind of revolves around and stuff. But yeah, I just, I love Soul Food and I remember just always, always watching this. I know it came on like BET all the time and stuff. So I really never like missed trying to watch this one. So yeah, Soul Food and it just, it holds up you guys. So I love it. Number 19, I did go ahead and pick Good Burger. I mean, Kanan and Kel, what's not to love? This movie is just, oh my goodness, it's, it holds up so, so good, you guys. It, it's just, it's hilarious, okay? Um, and the infamous, you know, Good Burger line and everything. And I showed this to my kiddos. They freaking loved it. So if they loved it, I mean, 
you know, that's where the love comes from because I love it. Mama loves it. So the kids love it. They were playing it like seriously, like repeat, repeat, repeat. Um, so Good Burger. It's just a fun, fun film, you guys. And, you know, Keenan and Kel, they have such awesome chemistry. So coming in at number 18 is Three Ninjas. I love this one. I remember watching this all the time with my brother. I think maybe that's kind of what, you know, kind of has drawn me to this film is that I just, I have that memory of watching this like all the time with my brother and it's just a fun little, uh, you know, martial arts flick. I mean, got the three brothers here and that whole Rocky loves Emily. It just sticks with you, you guys, you know? Uh, so we got Three Ninjas. Okay, so number 17 is one of my all-time favorite, well, if not my favorite, uh, Mary-Kate and Ashley film, and that is It Takes Two. This is another one, too. I always, always watch. It's just a fun film. The girls, they're great in it, and it just, it has its moments. I mean, yeah, it's a fun family flick, but you also kind of have the whole, you know, uh, rom-com part going on in here, and it is. It's just a blast. Number 16, we got Casper. Love, love, love this one. Coming in at number 15 is Little Giants. This is honestly one of my all-time favorite uh, football flicks. Uh, it is just a blast, you guys. I have just always, always been a fan of this one. And yeah, I just, I love it. So for number 14, I did go ahead and choose Scream. I mean, what is not to love about Scream? Honestly, it is like a perfect slasher in my opinion. It was a fresh take on the whole like slasher genre and I just love it, you guys. I mean, Ghostface, so iconic. So had to be in my top 25. Number 13 is Bad Boys. Uh, one of like probably my all time favorite like action flicks. I mean, Martin Lawrence and Will Smith together, their chemistry is fire and they just do so, so well together. They're flipping hilarious and it's just a great mix of like comedy and action. And yeah, it's just an all around great film. All right, number 12, one of my all time favorite comedies, Dumb and Dumber, had to include this one. I mean, what's not to love about it? So flipping hilarious. At number 11 is Friday. I gotta love the Friday flicks. I mean, these are just ones that I always, always watched uh, with my siblings and stuff. But yeah, Friday started it all. It's just so funny. Ice Cube, Chris Tucker. So, so flippin' hilarious, you guys. Uh, so yeah, we got Friday. All right, so getting into the top 10. So coming in at number 10, I'm just going with the first Jurassic Park film. Another definition of a perfect film, uh, everything from the performances, the stacked cast, the storyline, the pace of the film, the cinematography, even the CGI was pretty damn good for its time. And so yeah, I just think that Jurassic Park is just honestly a perfect film. And um, it's just a classic and I do remember seeing it in theaters. So yeah, Jurassic Park. So number nine, I went with The Crow. This film too, I remember always, always watching this one as a kid. Um, it was on TV like all the time. And it's just one that I also remember kind of like watching with my dad and my siblings and stuff. And uh, it's just a film that as the years have gone by, it has held up so well. It's just a great little like dark flick, great revenge flick. Brandon Lee's honestly best performance in my opinion. Um, but yeah, The Crow, I recently revisited it and like I said, it's just, it's held up so, so good. I was actually just very surprised at the revisit. I was like, wow, what a great film. So we got The Crow. Number eight, we got Titanic. Yes, had to include this one. I mean, this is a true, true classic, you guys. Kate Winslet, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh my goodness. Like, Seriously, their chemistry in this film would make it seem like they were like a real couple in real life. Um, like it is just one of those couples that I think the whole world fell in love with. And just the whole storyline of this film. I mean, yeah, they mix in the whole like romance stuff and whatnot with like the whole happening of the ship sinking and whatnot. But yeah, you guys, I just absolutely love, love, love Titanic. And yeah, it is hell along, but uh <laughs> It's definitely always worth the watch and always nice to revisit. At number seven, we have Speed. This is one too that I saw in theaters. It's another one that always watched this one with my dad. And this one too is always, always on TV and it has just held up to you guys. It's another one that I recently re revisited and just another one that I was like, wow, what a great film like still to this day. Um, Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock. I mean, the two of them together in this film, so, so good. And it is just a great film all around. 
Number six is Hocus Pocus. This is a film that I've just always held like near and dear and it's just a film that just really kind of sticks with you over the years and so I've just always been a fan of Hocus Pocus. All right, ready to see top five? So coming in at number five, Matilda. Oh my goodness. This was the one that for sure I always, always had like on repeat. We had it recorded on one of those like VHS tapes where we just had a bunch of movies recorded. It was probably the most watched uh, tape that we had um, was the one that had Matilda on it. I just, I mean, Mara Wilson and Danny DeVito, Rhea Perlman. I mean, it is just a fun movie. I love the whole concept of it. And yeah, I just, it's a fun one, you guys. I love it. Matilda. So number four, Selena, you guys. Yep, I had to. Um, this is a film that I watch at least once a year. Usually, you know, the anniversary of her death or on her birthday, I watch it. Um, but it's just one of those films that, you know, as I've gotten older, my emotions have come a bit more stronger, so I can't really watch it all that much. Um, but I was a fan of her music, obviously, growing up as a kid. I remember, you know, her passing. It was just so, so tragic. I remember, like, me and my older sister, you know, doing the whole, like, candlelight thing and, I like, all the vigils and stuff that took place. And it was. It was a sad day. Me and my sister were just bawling our eyes out and stuff. And so, yeah, because she was just gone too soon, you guys. Um, and it really was just sad, her passing. Um, but yeah, Selena, you guys, <laughs> last year I watched this and I don't know why, but I was just, I was a wreck. And I've seen this movie like a gazillion times, but for some reason, yeah, last year I was just total waterworks and stuff. But JLo as Selena, I'm glad they chose her for the role. She was excellent. And it is just a great, great film. All right, number three is Mrs. Doubtfire. Um, this is easily my favorite Robin Williams role. And I don't know, this movie has just kind of always stuck with me over the years. I mean, yeah, it's it has its like funny moments and stuff like that, but also the topic behind it of like divorce and stuff and having the divorced parents. I mean, my parents, they divorced when I was like four or five, something like that. Um, so I don't know, it just kind of held on to me, I guess. I don't know. But Robin Williams is just so, so good in this film. And yeah, I mean, there's, it, it's heartfelt and, you know, funny too. But yeah, Mrs. Doubtfire, I mean, what's not to love about this film? And what's not to love about Robin Williams' performance in here? It's excellent. Alrighty, coming in at number two is The Sandlot. I absolutely love and adore this film, you guys. There's just something about the whole summer vibes and, you know, making friends over a common interest and stuff and it's just a fun one you guys and I've just always always had a love for this film I mean I'm not a huge baseball person it's probably like my least favorite sport but this one I could watch any day every day it is so much fun my kiddos they absolutely love it this was another one too that I showed it to them they fell in love with it and it was like repeat 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 so <laughs> the sandlot you guys just it's a great film Alrighty, you guys, number one, if you guys watched my A to Z challenge video that I did a while back, then you probably have an idea of what this film is since I like praised it so much, but uh, that is Blood In, Blood Out, my all time, all time favorite film and my favorite from the 90s, obviously. Um, it's just another one that I hold ties to and I uh, just remember watching this all the time with uh, my siblings, you know, everybody wanted to be a vato loco and stuff like that. And <laughs> and even just the like the setting of it just kind of reminded me of like the neighborhood I lived in and stuff and just kind of the whole like friendship and like brotherhood kind of stuff going on and whatnot. So uh, it is, I just absolutely love this film, you guys. And so it had to be my number one. So that is it, you guys. I know it may come as a shock, some of the films that did not make the cut, but trust me, if this were like a top 50, top 100, uh, they'd more than likely be on there. But that is my picks for now. <laughs> like I said, it could change like any day, seriously. Just kind of depends on the moment, but yeah. So thank you so, so much for watching. Enjoy the family if you have not, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.